captain called the passengers and crew together for an announcement of the morning. We'll leave the French their business in Acapulco and head to Panama. I nodded eagerly and agreed. Not wishing to risk trapezing through a city under siege, even if it was besieged by my countrymen. Sir Fogg was less situated about our change of destination. I made some calculations to the ledger and seemed satisfied. It is a detour, but not a catastrophic one, he declared. We tethered at Panama in mid afternoon from the air. I could see the snaking, gutted length of the canal under construction. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be done yet, would it? Is this when it's still being built by the French? Don't know yet. Uh, it might be. Bright red and blue automatons. The closet dirt stone to the air. Ah, uh, automatons. I thought it was early. Just to read about that. The crew hurried us off the ship, unflatteringly eager to watch us depart. Okay. Get of a city, good to explore. Yeah, we're not going that way. I don't know how you do this in 80 days. Good of a city seemed a town perpetually on the edge of disaster. A great number of inhabitants had immigrated to California during the gold rush 40 years ago. The 49ers, as they were called. I th well, it's 49 because I was that when the gooder started or was it later? There's certainly not gold in Panama. There could be. I don't know if there is or not. Let's say this, 49ers are called, and left empty spaces which are quickly filled by new immigrants, creating a multiracial, polyglot society. I admired the handmaiden spirit, there's a nowhere town, I would explore it. I admired their spirit, the town is a brick collage, a nation created for whatever materials were available. So collage, so brick collage, I see. With the anarchic strength of such an origin. Of course, there was the canal, the French had bought the rights to construction for the Colombians. You can quickly see the rights of the Haitians. The Haitians? I don't feel like the Haitians could build a canal in the 1870s. Even with the Tomatons. The rumors said that Haitians ran the place. With the help of the, uh, saw the local rumor went, the blood drinking, the dude in machines, these dig of the canal. I cannot help but be curious, in particular about the Asian sorcerers, those of the mystical machines. They were elephant sized stream shovels, painted bright red and blue, dyed rooster feathers, adorned the boiler, and a single operator sat in the carriage to control the witch, the winch, boom and bucket. Great quantities of stone and dirt were being thrown to the air, undercut by the whistle of steam escaping the boilers rumbling. Okay. So, the Haitians magically are capable of building canal because of super top dots. Got it. Time travel, that's gotta be what it is. Clearly there's no other Weasel explanation. As I watched, a tall, sharp-eyed fellow in a pinstripe suit glared at me. Here to watch or to work? I am a visitor. Are you now? Well, the man puffed out his cheeks. I'm Gessler, the crew leader. They don't allow watching on my dig site. Point into one of the stream shovels. Get in. I complied. Not a second thought. Perhaps it was the authority. Guess there's voice. Perhaps I was really too enamored for the enormous power of the stream shovels. Guess there's Junior will lead you right, you pronounced with finality, caressing the bucket out of the great machine. Tell the machine of your own name. 
Wow. You create them in dead. Hey, you see him alive after all? Did you create him dead? I confess myself impressed. I designed all the steam shovels, but Thea Chun gave them life. He's headed back to Haiti tomorrow morning. I don't know what I'll do without her. He nodded towards a tall, black woman who was checking the fuel barrels, occasionally dipping a finger in a tarry black substance and tasting it. What, oil? Good enough talk, time to dig. I picked a, yeah, pick a lever at random, let's see what happens. So now, let's examine it closely. For selecting the most worn handle and easing it forward. The wind squealed and began to raise the boom with vibration that I could feel in my bones. After a few cautious experiments, I fell into a rhythm. Raise the bucket, scoop the back earth, unload, and rumble forward. You are bored, excavator, just Gessner shouted word me with praise. Are you sure you've not done this before? Nope, just attentive. As I worked, I saw the woman called Fanchon move away from the site. If she was an artificer, that should be useful. My shovel would not be stopped or slowed and I worked until the evening. Character note, Zestful. Did we get Zestful already? I feel like we did. Where can we go? We don't care about that. We want to get out of here in a different way. Go. The car. Nope. Interest. Dope. It's. Okay, we need to go to Port of Prince. Where is this useful? Nowhere. Invest the night here. Roll the streets, only find itself face face with fan shot. The engineer gestured, pointed out to me at the works. Oh, the visitor from France, she smiled lopsidedly. Have you come to take back your canal? It'll not be so easy, she raised her fist playfully. Uh, madame. They greeted her. She took my hand. I was told you were leaving town. I said, she nodded, I am indeed, I have, uh, uh, she smiled. A little craft of my own devising. That needs a few parts. You know how these things are. What kind of craft, I asked, intrigued. She shrugged, it's kind of, it's a kind of bird, you like a plane? She replied, but she is, you might say, injured at the moment. The master are going around the world. I declared, an exciting creature replied. But I do not think she meant it. The eyes were moving away from the middle distance. Into the middle distance. Chills were really blood. So perhaps we can travel with you. I asked. When your craft is repaired. She looked at me as a judgment character by inferring the way my parts fitted together. As I say, it will take some time to repair. Or some manpower. Time and manpower. They are both realized by one thing. Money, basically. New your price. I told her. She needed to figure. It's worth something. Well. I don't think we have enough. I told her. I'm pretty she replied. Neither do I. Perhaps you can raise some funds. I bid Madame Franchon goodbye. At least until we decided whether we could afford such help as hers. We made my way back to Sir Fog. Only to find myself accosted by a group of Kennedy Median dynamite blasters. 
They are a mix of city boys and Choco immigrants from the villages. United by the dislike of the Haitian digging crew. People compare. They seem keen to talk. We are leaving Panama before our blood ends up in a vat. You should leave too if you have any sense. Where are you headed? We are making for Tabatinga in the Amazonas. Chaffield gave me a considering luck. We may have some space for men of town determination. I consider offering to head back to my lodgings. Many spent their days blessed through the mountains. It proved to be useful. Traveling companions, we wish to head to the interior of this vast continent. That doesn't make sense for us. Why would we go to the freaking middle of. Oh god. Guess we're going to Acapulco. But anyway, the before you do that, I think yeah, it is time to end the video here. So, crap, we've done a lot so far in this session. Clearly, we failed. We have to get back to London. Looks like going up north to Mexico. We'll definitely get back to London, I think. It'll just take forever. But anyway, make sure to like and subscribe and, and hit that bell button as well as leave a comment in order to support this video and the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.